All right, guys, uh, it is August 16th, Tuesday, and uh, today what I'm doing is a four and a half mile uh, tempo run uh, with the three mile warm up. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It's been a while since I've done a tempo run, so we'll see how the legs are doing. Um, feeling pretty good so far this morning, so we'll, we'll go for it. And uh, then we'll do at least a couple mile cool down, and that should be it. And I'm trying to do at least uh, 55 miles this week. Week did four miles yesterday on the treadmill, just an easy recovery run. And all right, guys, I'll let you know how to do at the end. All right, guys, I completed that tempo run and um, um, so 34 minutes and 28 seconds this is a 4.5 mile run, 7:30 minute pace. Um, did that. I believe my best mile was like 7:21. And so yeah, not too bad. Uh, since I haven't done a tempo run in a while, so definitely felt pretty good. I ran in these uh, Hocus, really good tempo run. It really feels like it responds really well for picking up your pace anyway. So, all right guys, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll try to do a little bit more daily vlogs in this road to Boston. Uh, definitely, it's it's a uh, quad challenge. Definitely trying to get your, you know, doing daily things in daily life. I'm traveling to Houston to. Um, I take my wife to uh, to um, doctors, so definitely it's challenging to kind of fit those times in, but definitely sacrifice those times and definitely, you know, getting up, been getting up and running a little earlier in the morning, like yesterday, I woke up at 5.45 or 4.45 to wake up to to go run, so definitely it's, it's, it's challenging, but they can do it and definitely it's rewarding. I feel uh, definitely helps out with stress when you run and, and it's definitely something I really enjoy and, and try to fit into my busy schedule. Uh, especially last weekend we had, had worked at the hospital, so definitely it's a little bit more challenging there. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to the channel. This is Andrew running with Dr. Andrew. And today I'm doing a 14 mile long run. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, I'm doing a 14 mile long run and it's uh, feeling pretty good so far. Uh, woke up pretty early this morning on Saturday, today's Saturday, and uh, feels great. I think the temperature was like 63 degrees this morning, so I'm about uh, over halfway done, almost eight miles to get eight miles. Uh, so I got about what, six more miles left there. And so, what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to keep a pretty consistent pace uh, and uh, so what I'm gonna do is at mile 11 and 12 I'm gonna try to kick it up to uh, marathon pace or at least <laughs> what I feel like I, I can do anyway too after tired legs but hey uh, that's what uh, marathon training is about right trying trying certain things out seeing if you succeed with the training and then tweak it as you go on there all right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, I completed uh, uh, 10 miles so far in, in one hour and 30 minutes, and uh, <clears throat> feeling pretty good. Taking this uh, mile to 11, nice and easy, then uh, we're gonna pick up the pace for miles 11, uh, from 11 to 12, 12 to 13, and then uh, taking it easy on mile 13 to 14. Uh, all right, guys, beautiful morning. It is a little humid, but not as bad as it has been. So it's been nice and cool. Great day to do a, a long run. And I've been testing out the Hoka Mach 5s. And I did the, uh, uh, did a long, doing a long run in them today just to see how they feel. And, uh, and we should be doing a 100 mile review soon. All right, guys. We'll see you when I get done. All right, guys, I completed that uh, uh, two miles from 11, mile 11 to 12, 12 to 
uh, 13. Last mile I did it was in 725, so I was almost on target on marathon pace. Uh, whew, that's pretty challenging after doing all those miles and then kicking up the pace there. I definitely kind of like that workout, so hoping that this helps out build some strength and speed as well. So helping them out with the aerobic system and also getting those legs to turn over there so i've been practicing my stride a little bit more uh, drive my knee it seems to really help out and these hokas hoka mock fives definitely he can tell the difference and on whenever you pick up the pace is definitely a shoe that wants to go fast guys i guess that's why they call it mock five all right guys got one more mile left and then we'll talk at the end there all right guys i completed that uh <clears throat> 14 mile run, two hours, five minutes, uh, which is average 855, which is kind of what my goal is to try to get these long runs under, um, under that um, <clears throat> a nine minute uh, mark. Uh, best mile 724, which was at the, that 11 mile <clears throat> and 12 mile was my, my up tempo, kind of tempo runs. And uh, overall did really well. Uh, and I feel like I'm getting a little stronger. It was a little cooler, so definitely that definitely helps out with the run there. And you know, guys, definitely try it. Try to, I know, with your long runs, try to try to add a little bit of strides or <clears throat> pick a mile or so, you know, and try to and go a little faster there too. I think that's gonna definitely help you out, help out with your strength as well. Uh, <clears throat> but obviously the majority of the mileage you want to go nice and uh, nice and easy there, conversational pace, but you can kind of switch it up every once in a while there. All right guys, this completes this video. Hope everyone stays safe out there. Uh, keep running and we'll see you next time. Welcome back to the channel. This is Andrew, running with Dr. Andrew. And today I'd like to share with you my week five of marathon training. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, today I did a six mile treadmill run, which equals up to 55 miles for the week. And a uh, pretty good week so far with the doing a um, you know, tempo run on Tuesday and doing my long run with uh, doing at least a little bit of a tempo run inside that long run. And each treadmill run, I do kind of increase the speed a little bit, so that way my legs are turning over. And next week, we'll start to do some speed work. So I haven't done speed work on the track for a little while. And so we'll definitely get those types of activities back. I'd also like to maybe add just another type of workout where I'm running a uh, easy run in the last few miles doing uh, close to marathon pace or beyond marathon pace. So that way I'm getting my legs turned over a little bit more and doing a little bit different workout. And so next week my goal is to do 60 miles. And then what, what I like to do is every, uh, every week increase it up to 10%. Uh, and then uh, go from there and, and get my mileage up. And once we get to a certain point, we'll start, I'll start to kind of taper down, um, a little bit there. And, uh, and once I start to taper down and then we'll start to add more speed work and everything too. So I'm definitely my, also with the tempo, uh, runs, I'm going to start to add, um, uh, 5% about, you know, next, next week I'm going to do five miles. This last week I did 4.5 miles and I'm going to do gradually increase that tempo run. So that way it's getting longer and longer. I'm able to, I'm um, trying to hold that pace a little bit longer and longer. And then whenever we get to the marathon, hopefully that will transmit into some, um, into some good training and getting my legs to turn over better. And that's the whole thing is to getting your endurance, your aerobic endurance with your long runs and also getting your leg turnover and trying to get your leg turnover to stay and continue that leg turnover for long periods of time, longer and longer. So definitely that's my goal uh, to do that. I feel like that I'm getting somewhere with my leg turnover. Uh, my long run felt pretty, pretty good. Uh, I felt pretty good doing those strides, those to that two mile tempo run from mile 11 to 12. And so I'm hoping that that will uh, definitely help me out 
in the long run. And, you know, definitely, I would, you know, if you're doing marathon training, I think definitely adding those variations, your body likes to have variations of activity. So if you did the same thing over and over again, you're going to get better. But then if you change something a little bit every time, that's going to definitely, your body's going to have to adapt to that. And when your body has to adapt, you get good changes with your aerobic system as well as your neuromuscular system and uh, the skeletal system too. All those areas will get to will adapt and become stronger for you uh, for the um, marathon <clears throat> so we've got uh, this, is, this completes weeks number five and so we've got uh, at least 14 uh, at least 14 more weeks 14 13 more weeks or so and to until the marathon <clears throat> and the weather's starting to get a little cooler so it's even though it's august we do get some warm days but the m mornings are really cool so i'm enjoying running in the early mornings or either on the treadmill as well and so next week we'll definitely get back to doing the speed work sundays really enjoy doing that and sharing those moments with everybody hope everyone is staying safe out there keep running and we'll see you next time